pictures for eBay and my photography setup. Hey, this is Michelle with Paladin Global Market and I'm so glad you're here. In today's video, I brought you into my eBay office and I'm going to show you my photography setup and how I upload pictures to eBay. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna to reveal to you a super cool app that my daughter actually introduced to me that's gonna make it so much easier for you to take your pictures and upload them to eBay and make them look fantastic. If you have not already, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload new content, which is typically weekly. And then also, if you're enjoying this so far, give me a like, let's begin. Hey guys, okay, so now for my eBay photography setup that we talked about. So welcome to my office. This is another part of my office. This is where I take all my pictures and it's also my shipping station. If you check out my previous videos, this one or this one, you'll see that I was doing a massive office transfer overhaul. Um, and I had thought that maybe I was going to combine my shipping station or separate my shipping station and my photo station. but after doing all that, I decided, you know what, it's fine. I just left it the way it is. So right now you're seeing what's set up now as my photo station, AKA shipping station this morning. Okay, so this is what I like to use when I'm doing my pictures for my eBay listings. You see, I have two soft boxes here. And as the soft box is just basically, it's a light with a white cover. If I took this little Velcro off, you can see it's just the light bulb that's on the inside, but it's a pretty big light bulb as you can see. And it has a reflective cover on the inside to help to do a soft diffuse lighting. Uh, diffuse just means it's not it's not harsh. It's not like if you ever see shadows, we'll see it, the shadows went away when I went closer. So the soft diffuse lighting is nice because it's kind of like a fill light. I used to do photography many years ago, wedding photography, which I loved, um, but when it became the, the photography turned into a job and I just didn't enjoy it as much. So I was like, you know what? We'll let that be a hobby, but I still enjoy lighting and this type of stuff. So soft boxes for my photography setup. I have these two light boxes here. And then the next thing I have is this ring light, which I'm actually using in front of me now. If you were to purchase just something, you're like, all right, Michelle, what do I need? I, I, don't know what I need to get started, or I really don't have a lot of money to invest yet, or I'm not sure I really want to sell a whole bunch. Um, I would say invest in a ring light. I'll have a link in the description below, the exact one that I love. And I've used this thing for years. It works so good. And so, and it really wasn't very expensive. So I put that right here in the middle. And when I'm taking my pictures, I actually put my phone right through. I just use my iPhone, guys. Um, I tried using my nice Canon um, I have a Canon EOS camera, super nice, bells and whistles, but it was taking too much time. I really didn't need to use that because once I take the pictures on the camera, then I'd have the little card and then I'd have to upload it to my computer and then I have to pull it into the listing. No, I, I want to do, I want to work smarter and not harder. So by using my cell phone, my Apple device, I'm able to take the pictures and I upload it directly into eBay's mobile app. It works fantastic. Now, I did promise you something at the end of this video, an app that my daughter introduced me to. So she recently started her own Poshmark business. I'll have a link for her closet below. Um, but I love it because just because I've been doing this for 17 years full time, well, I haven't been full time for 17 years, but I am full time um, as a reseller. Uh, it is, I can always level up, right? There's always new technology or different things that we can use or equipment that we can use that can help make the process better. So my daughter says, hey mom, you need to try this. And now come to think about one of my best friends, she sent me a TikTok video on this as well. And so I finally tried out this new app. Guys, it's a game changer. So now what I'm doing is I'm using these lights and I'm using the app because together I'm getting a really great picture and it's so quick. So I have to admit, have you ever tried eBay's mobile, the white background removal tool? Um, so we really want white backgrounds um, when we're taking our pictures. It's not just because it looks like Amazon's pictures, but there is a reason where it raises us in our search engine results. And I have a, a course, I'll link up, it's a 100% off coupon code free 
So I'll have a link below. Um, it's Photography Like a Paladin Pro, um, where I go into this a lot more. There is a lot of things behind the scenes that you may not know that is extremely important to have a white background in our pictures because it helps to raise our listings in the search engine results with eBay and Google. So um, there's a lot more to it, things that we need to do. Um, so if you want that free course, it's free. Um, check out the link in the description below. So when we're taking our pictures, we want to have white background. I've used the eBay mobile app and I have to say, I don't really like the, that feature. The white background removal tool on eBay's mobile app, I don't think it does a good job. You have to have a like straight box item for the thing to take out the white background and uh, computer wise just takes it out and removes it um, for it to look good. Otherwise, if it's anything, you know, like if I do, I do a lot of Disney items. So if there's like Disney plush or something like that, stuffed dolls and they have like hair or something like that, it does not do a good job at all. So I'm like, you know what, forget it. I'm just gonna take pictures myself with my photography setup. But when Haley, my daughter, introduced this photo room app to me, I was amazed at how excellent the technology is. So um, make sure you check that out. So what I'm doing now for my photography setup, for my pictures for eBay, I'm using these. I'm doing the two soft boxes. I'm using the ring light that I have here that I just moved the camera. Sorry, guys. Anyways, so I'm using the ring light and I put that right here in the middle. Um, I have some other stuff that I use, but you don't need this. What you can do is sit your stuff right by a window with natural light. And um, that is a really great way for your pictures to come out good. And then use the app, use this app um, to have it take out, take out the background even more. Um, so it looks really professional and then you upload it into your eBay mobile app for your listing and voila, there you go. So this is my photography setup and it's something that I use daily in my eBay reselling business and whether you're selling on eBay, Amazon, Poshmark, Macari, these fundamental tools will really help you to level up your game so that your items that you're listing online look their absolute best because people, when they're coming across your listings, they can't touch the item, they can't feel the item, they can't pick the box up and shake the item, but they can see your pictures. So pictures and your descriptions is all they have. So we need to make sure our pictures look amazing. And these are some tools that I use that have really helped me with that. So one thing I'd like to leave you with before I go. So you see this paper that I have in the background, you see on the right here, there's no seam. It doesn't have a hard seam that you'll see at the back. I don't like that. I used to use something in the past that did that. Um, I don't like anything that disturbs the potential buyer that kits their, uh, their eyes off the item. I want them focused on the item and not distractions in the background or, or weird things, you know, that type of stuff. So using this type of paper is fantastic because it's this nice smooth edge. So it looks great in pictures. Um, I heard about this particular brand it's the Savage Photo Backdrop Paper. I heard about it from Rally Roots um, probably about a year or so ago and I love it. I just actually ordered another box. Um, you can use it. I actually use this thing, like I'll cut a piece off and I clamp it to the top. And then I have this frame. It's kind of like just like a curtain rod with legs at the bottom. Um, so I will clamp the paper to the top of that. And then whenever I'm doing pictures for like shoes or anything that might get a little bit of a smudge or anything on the paper, um, I can then turn the paper upside down. Then I flip it the other way because it's white on the background too, on the back of it. So I can flip it four different ways to use the same piece of paper so you can really get your money's worth. Um, so if you're interested in that, I'll have an Amazon link below. It is an affiliate link. You don't pay anything more for it. Amazon just thanks me for sharing it with you. Um, and that's the same way I purchased it from Rally Roots as well. So um, I will never recommend anything on this channel that I do not already love and use myself. I um, respect your trust and I really appreciate it. So make sure you check those links in the description below. Lots of good stuff for you today. And if you have any questions, let me know. And otherwise, I'm going to see you in next week's video. I've got a lot of fun videos coming out um, just to continue to help you on your online reselling adventure. This is Michelle, Paladin Global Market. Happy reselling, guys. Bye-bye.